a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal Ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss Beebe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. We do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Sheriff Green sure seems to care a heck of a lot about this. Sam Green's the one who took Stone down. Ah. Saved a little baby that day, too. Would have been the killer's next victim. Yeah, he's kind of the town hero. Huh. Interesting. Chris... What are you thinking? You guys have been so helpful answering my questions and all, but sounds like I should probably go right to the source. <laughs> what? After today, I don't think Sheriff Green's gonna wanna talk to you about anything even remotely related to the mill. You never know. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too?
Howdy, partner. How's life on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. Well, like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Yeah, but Ma's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. <sighs> right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? what? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just... Speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 10 bucks? So let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure, of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So maybe if you actually have something real to offer? Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris.
Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Ah, uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. I gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Cute bunny. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Say hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. Imagine cuddling up to that at night.
Who would want to watch this creep fest? She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. May I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not.
demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is gonna be the last record of the mill. Kid. We hope they're found. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. <laughs> All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. <sighs> Super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris, I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Oh, I do. But you gotta tell me one thing. Is it true? What really happened at the mill? What? You know, the real story. Oh, right. <laughs> the real story. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all true. But there is one part they never tell you about. Yeah? Nah, I, I couldn't. Come on! All right. But you've got to promise to keep it to yourself, all right? Scout's honor. They called it the steel mill. But it turns out, you can't steal a mill. 
All right. You got me. Is what I do. <laughs> you ready? Take care. Get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? 